Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. We're going to do round two of getting to know the people behind the skinny truth. Let's dive in. All right, let's go. All right. What's your biggest fear? Um, Something that scares you the most. Honestly, and I don't really want to talk like to talk about this, but my kid's drowning. Oh. That's like, I, th I know that seems like so, I don't know, but we're getting a pool this summer. And yeah. literally, yeah. I will like lay in bed thinking about like just, my boys can swim, but my daughter can't swim yet. And it's just, it's terrifying. That, I can see that. Um, you know, we've I worked around that a lot when during all our med school training, mm -hmm. we saw it and that's yeah. scary. Um, I'm going to go, mine is like heights, but not just, oh, yeah. not just like eight feet, but like a thousand feet up in the air. Yeah. And I don't even mind being in an airplane because it's not that right. deep. But I mean, that'll be the dream I have that wakes me up is falling off a roller coaster or being flung out something. Something is just completely irrational. But. I think I have that too. We went in New York City, you know, they have those... Um, it was like top of the Rockefeller Center or yep, something. Yep. I couldn't even go to the edge. To the edge. I'm like, uh-uh. Well, that's what I think about. Uh, so we did the whole where the Twin Towers were, uh, were yeah. uh, the memorial. And you go, and it's so tall now, mm -hmm. the New World Trade Center. And, you know, all I can think about is, like, who actually put this glass in? And did yeah. they do a good job? Right. Do I trust this person? I don't want to touch it. Exactly. So I start questioning who did that. Uh, so mine's definitely heights. Yeah. Where would you want to travel again? I love Hawaii. So Hawaii, yeah, okay, same that's thing. That's mine. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm I'm gonna go just anywhere in the mountains. It's been like, we've okay. we've done the whole beach thing, and I like it, but I would go to different. Where's your favorite place, mountain wise, to go? Um, we like a I, I like Park City, Utah. Uh huh. And I like Big Sky, Montana. Okay. I think those are two very different places. Uh huh. Um, but they're both really fun places. Like Park City's got the all the restaurants in the town. Yes. But Big Sky is just giant mountains and it gets really cold and shit. Right. But it's so it's completely different. But those we are just two went fun to places. Park City, Utah last year for an event and it's beautiful there too. It, it was summertime, but Well, they say at those mountain places that's the best time to go. Okay. It is summertime. And we've done that. I took our family on a on a trip to Lake Tahoe once. Uh -huh. This is few years back and we went on a hike thought it'd be a good idea to take the family on the yeah. hike be participating it'll be just a great day you know and it said four miles I'm like well how far could four miles be but four miles uphill oh it was a different yeah so yeah. and you know we brought our daughters like five-year-old daughters backpack the kind that had wheels <laughs> yes so I found oh. I brought two waters in this backpack and we we passed these people we're like how much further They're like you know, probably 10 more minutes and you'll be halfway and i'm like oh my god I'm, halfway i've just killed my family we're <laughs> so on i have to <laughs> ask since park city utah have you done the olympic park up there uh -uh. you haven't done i've it. seen it but i haven't okay. done it well we last year i was like i've lost all this weight i'm going to do this like they have all these different things you can like slide down no i was scared of the um what's the thing you go up on for skiing oh the, ski the lift. chairlift yeah yeah i couldn't ski because i'm scared to death of that thing <laughs> Chairlift, you know, when it starts rocking, it can be Ugh. it can be bothersome. Yeah. Okay. Um, the next question. Oh, this is kind of a fun one. Do you put your cereal in the bowl before the milk, or the milk in before the cereal? Well, I think you have to put the cereal in first. I can't even imagine it doing the other way around. I put my cereal in first. Yeah, that's crazy. My daughter <laughs> yeah. must have come up with that question. <laughs> um, all right. This one's for you. Okay. Do you have any superstitions that you perform before surgery? Um, I used to have one. Um, I used to make us play the song in the OR, Chicken Fried by Zach Brown. <laughs> yeah. Only because here in Northwest Arkansas, I call it the chicken capital of the world. We have Tyson Foods and Georgia's Chicken and just uh -huh. everything ab about this place revolves around chickens, which is great for our community. Yeah. But we used to do that. Now, for me, it's just, you know, I like things the same way mm -hmm. every time yeah and that makes me happy in the or and so my team gets that now and the or director she knows that she you know everybody knows we'll just, i think yeah. all doctors surgeons are like that a little bit <laughs> you like it your way just, just that's it yeah i try that at home and it doesn't work <laughs> so you have to do it at work <laughs> that's right um okay if you could have a career 
in anything, what would it be? Oh, well, I was going to be a PGA golfer. Okay. And that didn't work out so well? It did not. <laughs> Mostly because I didn't decide to start playing golf until I was a sophomore. Oh. <laughs> in yeah. high school, I played baseball forever. Okay. And then when they started throwing 90 miles an hour and curveballs, that's when I was like, I need, I want the ball to be right. still. Yeah. And I'll hit it. But that's, uh, that was what I really wanted to do there. And I even try, I even went to Baylor okay. for a semester mm -hmm. and tried to walk on the golf team. And after two weeks of tryouts, that's when I realized. You got to do something else. I need to be studying. <laughs> Sports I'm is gonna not, have to have a job. Sports is not gonna get me where I need to yeah. be. So, what about you? Um, I don't know. I was I started out as elementary education, and quickly was like, I can't do that job. Mm -mm. I just don't have the patience. No. <laughs> um, so then I went into nursing, and I do like nursing. I probably would have switched my area. I feel like I would have really liked to do like labor and delivery or. Nick, you like something along those lines. I did cardiology. I started out in oncology oh, yeah. and ended in cardiology, but I don't know. It's, I mean, all of those things, there's good and, yeah, and bad good about and bad. them. But, yeah. you know, that's, I would have been something completely different, but. You wouldn't I, have been a surgeon? I want to be a golfer. I like, I wanted to be a. But if you couldn't uh, be the golfer. Oh, then I would, yes, no, I would definitely do definitely surgery. Definitely surgery. I, I mean, at one point in college, my sophomore year, I switched my major from pre-med to, um, well, technically a zoology major. Oh. But I was pre-med, and I, went, I said, I'm going to do international business. And I signed up for all these business classes, and uh -huh. I, did, I did really well in accounting, you know, where two plus two has to equal four. Right. The economics classes, uh, it was awful. I'm like... I can't do this. I'm out. Right. And uh, got back to pre med, and no, I surgery, which is funny because I want to be an orthopedic surgeon. Oh. And you don't actually get into a hospital to see what you want to mm -hmm. be. So right. Your first two years are all classroom work. Yeah. Your last two years are all hospital work. So that's when you actually get to pick mm -hmm. what you want to do. So my very very first rotation was orthopedics. I was like, oh man, I guess I want to do. I didn't know. I didn't know experience. Right. But I remember they said. Roller, get in there and hold the leg while they prep it. And somebody had broken their, their thigh, the femur, their oh, thigh wow. bone. Yeah. So I'm holding the leg, and it's moving in my hand. I was like, Ugh. oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I can't do this. I didn't like this. And so it was four months later I got on to general surgery, and I was like, I was going to say it's a general it. surgery rotation, not yeah. bariatric. No, and then bariatrics was kind of a – Like a specialty. Yeah, specialty. Yeah. After that. I – and I still do general surgery. Yeah. Um, gallbladders and hernias. Mm -hmm. I love it. I mean, that was my passion uh, when I started. I was like, okay. I, I mean, I was worried I was going to go through it and not like anything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because I did like OBGYN and psycho psychiatry and orthopedics. I mean, I like did. And wasn't finding something My bottom loved. half of my stuff. Right. I was like, my gosh, what if what happens if I go, if I've done all the schooling and I don't yeah. like this? So, I mean, it's kind of like... It, Education and nursing. So yeah. luckily I found general surgery. Um, what's next? Well, what do you do to keep fit? Um, exercise, move my body. 30 minutes a day, five days a week. Um, what you told us to do. Yep. I do. Okay. We, I, I am a big Peloton person. Mm -hmm. So The bike? The bike. Okay. Um, we will do the boot camps too, though. Uh-huh. So generally like a 45-minute... Um, bike boot camp, so it's you know ends up being about eleven minutes mm -hmm. on the bike, then the floor, then the bike, then the floor. But you know we'll do Tune Day and Jess Sims, and then um, you know on the bike Olivia Motto and and Robin are the two are the are the people we use. And it's funny how you gravitate to certain yeah certain ones instructors. Um, you know, my wife we likes tried the bike. Side. I can't do it. it. Hurts my bum. Well, a lot of the times you're up and you're standing up. Yeah. So. So when I started doing it, I was still heavier. Okay. So it probably would be a. We sold it. It'd probably be a different ball game now, but. It just I like it because I never know when. Like I have a hard time making classes. Yeah. Yeah. The surgery goes late, or I'm late in clinic, or whatever it is, or I have meetings. that go over, so I can come home and just hit the button and start. Right. Start. But. I bet you would have that problem now. I mean, it, the reason I like it, I had back surgery nine years ago. Mm -hmm. When they went in from the front to fuse the spine. So I had an abdominal incision and a back. Oh, wow. And 
that so I needed I needed something very low impact. Mm -hmm. I can't yeah. really run. I can, but not for long distances, and so I don't get as hot and sweaty as I want. Yeah. So I love the thing, and then you know, Kristen will make us do the the core mm -hmm. um, five or ten minute classes, mm -hmm. and those are uniquely awful. Yeah. I hate doing those. So do but, you yeah. try? To, do you exercise five days a week? Uh, I would say it's more like six. You do six, okay. Um. I just don't feel good mm -hmm. when I don't. Right. And I'm not sure if that's mental or physical. Yeah, probably both. It probably is. Yeah. I, but I, I, I don't It know. really makes a difference. It really makes you feel better. I think so. Okay. What celebrity would you like to meet at Starbucks for a cup of coffee? No doubt, Chris Young. <laughs> you do even know who Chris <laughs> you know Young is. Yeah, he's a country singer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's a country singer. Yeah. That would be mine. That's interesting. But I don't know if I'd want to meet him at Starbucks for a cup of coffee, but. Uh, well, okay, anywhere. Anywhere, yeah. <laughs> but not on a date. Not on a date. Yeah. No, no. Um, gosh, I'm probably going to, I don't know who. I mean, if I say, you know, Carrie Underwood, that you, sounds terrible. Yeah. I don't, you just said a, a male country well, I singer. Did. Yeah. <laughs> I would probably say like Larry Bird. Who's He's Larry like, Bird? <laughs> I'm gonna have to cancel this podcast. She does not know who Larry Bird is. He's like the greatest all-time basketball player oh, ever. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, no, that's a, that's what I would say. I would okay. I would be I'd want to meet someone uh, like that or or a Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. Yeah. I do know who that is. Just I think he's had a very interesting life. Yeah, I, yeah, I want to ask yes. some questions. Yeah. But those, you probably those have two. some good stories. Um, <laughs> your favorite college team? Why is it Oklahoma State? Okay, so it is definitely not Oklahoma State. My Although, husband told me to put that one on I know, there. <laughs> I know. I could see Luke all over this. Right. So I am an Oklahoma Sooner through and through. Mm -hmm. I'd say my, my secondary backup would be Duke basketball. Okay. So those are those are yours. My teams, yeah. Yeah. You? Um, I would say Missouri Tigers. So we grew I grew up in Kansas City. My dad was in broadcasting. In Kansas City, there's a Missouri side and a Kansas side. Right. So the Mizzou yep. KU war was like really big. We do not like KU. And I went to Mizzou my first year and didn't end up graduating from there, but I like Mizzou. Okay. I mean, they've got cool uniforms. Yeah. They're not very good at anything. It kind of ends there, but. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Okay, this one I have to ask you Do you do a profi or do you have coffee? I have coffee. Okay. I um I like the profies. Uh huh. But so my routine in the morning is I get up mm -hmm. and I get a protein drink and a protein bar. Okay. That's what I have for breakfast. Mm -hmm. And then I will drink my coffee in between cases. And okay. I usually will do five or six cases till about noon and then come to clinic. So it takes me all morning to get through. I was going to ask, like just Yeti. one cup of coffee? Oh, no, it's like a, I bet you it's two and a half. It's like, okay. you know, those normal Yeti? Yeah. Like that not size. Not the 32 ounce. Right. I don't know, not that, just <laughs> no. the normal. Yeah. Um, so that's what it, I will get through in a morning. And so if I combine it, then mm -hmm. I won't have that to. Right. You don't have the my, protein right. to fill you up at the beginning. Right. So I like to get full and then not think about eating or anything yeah. during those times. It's funny because when you sense. operate, you don't, like, you're not, you don't ever get hungry, like, in the middle of a surgery. You don't? No. It's, as soon as you're done and you realize it's time to eat, it, and it's ravenous hunger. So that's mm -hmm. a, that's where we'll typically, as surgeons, make terrible food choices. Is After, because you're so hungry. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I try to get, stay full on protein in the morning. Profi is definitely me. That's a no-brainer. But, you know, funny enough, before surgery, I did not drink coffee. Ever. Really? No. I was a soda drinker. Oh, Diet Coke. No. Well, okay, so I'll tell on myself. I hated coffee mm -hmm. when I was in school. I hated it. So, uh, But I needed caffeine to stay awake in right. med school and um, residency. So I went to – so my go-to was Dr. Pepper. Mm-hmm. And I was probably 30 pounds heavier than I am now. Mm -hmm. I mean, just, first of all, residency never worked out. Right. Never had time. Drank Dr. Pepper all the time to stay awake. So when I got to Duke, we had more time as a fellow when I was doing the bariatric surgery thing. And I remember sitting down with this 
dietitian. His name was Patrick. He's like, you need to start drinking coffee and crystal light and put that Dr. Pepper away. Mm -hmm. And I, that year I lost 30 pounds by eliminating wow. Dr. Pepper. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I just forced myself to start liking coffee because it's generally a low calorie. Right. As long as you're not adding, yeah. You know, the extra whip, chocolate syrup. Yeah. I mean, you it can, adds up. <laughs> it's yeah. fast. So yeah. I try to do regular coffee. We make it every morning at the house. No cream. I'll do half and half. Half and half. And a couple of sweeteners. Okay. But no sugar. Yep. And you kind of invented profi, yeah. right? Well, I don't know if I invented it, but... It's, it's your staple. It's, I, yeah. I think you're the inventor. I love it. And it is really good. Now, I will say my um, daughters will do it. Oh, do they? They're constantly mixing. Okay. Uh, my middle one, Annabelle, mm -hmm. mixes the coffee concentrate and Fair Life protein drinks. Yep. So it's good. She's a profi girl for awesome. sure. Awesome. What's your favorite kind of music? Country. Yeah. That Chris Young gave you away <laughs> on that. <laughs> What about you? Um, I'm country too. Oh, you really? Yeah. So that's on. Do you listen? To, what what kind of streaming music do you listen to? What stations? Oh. Are you I, Pandora? No, we have. Uh, well, we just got Cirrus. Okay. It's just the country. So I'm on. I'll use Pandora. I didn't know Pandora was still a thing. Oh. <sighs> It is. They, you know, it's funny. The OR crew says the same thing. Really? But I pay the $2.99 a month to not get <laughs> commercials. So I do and, Amazon Music is our big one. Yeah, well, I, my station is Today's Country. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't know Pandora is a thing. I'm about That's to be aging I'm you. I'm about to be 49. <laughs> I can't figure out Spotify, so I don't do it. Yeah. All right. Um, what is your worst family vacation ever and why? I honestly can't. That's a hard one. That's I don't know. You have one. We went to the Bahamas last year for spring break. We typically go skiing. Mm -hmm. But the year before, the snow wasn't great. It's so like, okay, we're just not going to do it. And daughters are all playing basketball. So, not to, so we went to the Bahamas. And, of course, the first day and a half were there. It's, it just rained cats and dogs. It was, mm -hmm. it was awful. And we only had like five days, four days. So then the next day was super sunny, bright, perfect weather, like maybe 78. You couldn't, wasn't hot, cold. We may have been out there for an hour and a half. And of course, we're all, you know, like we need some sun. So right. we didn't put on any sunscreen. Oh, gosh. And we were lobsters. Oh, my goodness. We were lobsters so bad that my oldest daughter, she actually looked like a lobster. She spent the next three days inside. Oh, my gosh. That's awful. Mine was so bad, I spent the next two days inside. And I was like, I, you can't get me into the darkness quick enough. So and you didn't have much of a beach vacation. No, it was that. awful. I will never forget um, that those sunburns and, like, wear your sunscreen. It doesn't matter how much sun you think you yes. need. My Lord, it was not worth that. I mean, I was... I was. I put on. I took every medicine I brought with me. I put on every lotion that was available. <laughs> right. And none of it helped. Yeah. So that was our worst one, and we we'll probably won't go back. That was your best family vacation ever. All va I feel like all vacations are good. Well, Honestly. Yeah. I, boy, you need to do more of them because you'll hit. Well, probably once kids, my kids get a little bit older yeah. and they're fighting constantly, and they will change it. Yeah. Um. Okay. What it, What would you say your hobbies are? This is a hard one. People ask me this. I'm like, hobbies? Because I don't like to read. Yeah. I don't really like to watch a lot of TV. I like to shop. <laughs> I don't think that's a very healthy habit. But um, I tell my wife that all the time. That's not healthy. Stay off, the, I know. Stay off Amazon and stay off anything you can order. <laughs> right. I don't know. That's, I mean, I like to spend time with my family. and. Um, I used to play a lot of golf. And then uh -huh. I hurt my back. And then... So I don't do that anymore. And then I kind of had to make a choice, too, because when the kids are getting older, it's like I've got an hour. Right. And that's generally what I will try to allot myself a day mm -hmm. is one hour for myself to – and it was either go hit golf balls or something or work out. Right. But I couldn't stay healthy and play golf. Right. And so that's where I got into trouble. Into, yeah. I was going to say, I feel like walking has kind of become a hobby. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy just taking walks, like with my family or just going on a walk by myself. It's just, I really like it. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. All right. Do you have a favorite movie? Uh, I don't think so. Do you? 
I'm yeah. boring when it I'm comes to not, this I'm stuff. I'm going to try not to age myself too much here, but I'm, I am probably have a couple, but I get into the, like, Step Brothers is up there for uh-huh. me. Like, one the, of my all-time favorites. Yeah. Will Ferrell and yeah. I forget the other guy's name. And then something like um, Braveheart. I've never seen Braveheart. Oh, my gosh. Is that the Sorry. one they say is a Mel Gibson. Thanksgiving or a, there's like a Christmas movie. Some people say it's a Christmas movie. Is no, that it, the one? no, no, no. This is like Mel okay. Gibson fighting for Scotland. I mean, he's just, he is the baddest dude you've ever seen. Yeah, so, no, I haven't seen Top Gun, one. stuff like that. Yeah. I'm, I'm an action guy. Yeah. Well, I'm a love story, but I just don't watch a lot of TV and movies. Oh, man. I fall sorry. asleep like in the first five <laughs> or 10 minutes. Um, favorite type of food? Back to steak there. Steak. Yeah. I mean, mine, yeah, that's kind of like the other one. Before bariatric, it, it would be all carbs, but. Anything carbs. Yeah. Cat or dog person? I would, to be honest, I don't really like either. <laughs> but <laughs> if I had to choose, because we have one, I would say a dog. You have a dog. Yeah. You know, I was a dog, for, I am a dog person. Okay. We have two dogs, uh-huh. Sam and Baker, Golden Retrievers. But, and I would say I was anti-cat mm-hmm. pre-marriage. Mm-hmm. Then, you know, Kristen was a cat person. Okay. So I, I like, well, we'll try one out for a week and see how it goes. Uh-huh. And I thought I was allergic to cats. Turns out I'm not. And that cat was awesome. She lived for like 21 years. Oh, wow. So now wow. we have two cats. Okay. In fact, I just, we just got, I got one for my birthday. For your birthday? They got me another cat. Did you ask for this cat? No, but <laughs> the cat we have, she's uh, she's awesome. It's like not a, she acts like a dog, but she likes my middle one, my middle kid the best. Uh huh. And has become her cat. Okay. I mean, this is absolutely insane. Why does this cat like her so much? I found out she was feeding her strawberries and marshmallows. <laughs> And she chocolate. was giving her the good stuff. <laughs> cool. I do like, I grew up with cats. I like cats. If Luke would let us get a cat, I would get one. But it's the litter box that holds me back. But that's the best part of, I mean, cleaning it? Like having it in my house. Well, I know, but it's not, I mean, think about stepping in dog poop. Yeah, that's, but it's outside. Yeah, but then your shoes are, then your shoes come inside. <laughs> I don't so know. That's the, <laughs> they're, they're pros, uh, the best thing about a cat is you can go on vacation and not yeah. be a they, they're sitter. fine on them by themselves. They yeah. really are independent. Yep. Um, how long have you been married? 12 or 13 years. Thir- yeah. You should know the answer to that question. 12 so, years, <laughs> I think. 12, yeah. Yeah, I should have got confirmation 12. Yeah. Um, we are coming up on, on June 20th, 24 years. Oh, wow. Yeah, for a long time. Yeah. She says that the 25-year anniversary means something. Like, that's a bigger deal. Yeah. Do you think what, that's true? I think that's true. I think she deserves... I thought it was 50. I thought you had oh, to be Oh, no. 50 25. To... Yep. You better <laughs> yeah. start planning. Oh, shoot. Um, where did you meet your spouse? Um, my sister actually introduced... Well, so this is a good story. She... She grew up in Tulsa, too. Kristen did. Okay. She knew my brother and sister. I didn't even know she existed. My mom ended up having breast cancer at one point and going to see the surgeon I consider my mentor. And she was working in that office one summer. Okay. So then she knew my mom. Mm-hmm. And my mom was coming back going, you're going to marry this girl. I'm like, what are you talking right. about? A couple years go by, my sister gets in uh, to OU. They were in the same sorority and then she comes back and puts a picture on the fridge of her and Kristen mm-hmm. and another girl and I look I said who's that and she's like that's the girl I'm telling you you gotta marry on your fridge oh my gosh so for the next probably year and a half I was you know trying to force my sister to introduce, introduce us you. yeah so she finally did at the OU Texas game in Dallas okay um one year uh-huh. and then gosh we went on couple dates and then we're engaged like in oh wow less than a year i think wow luke and i were engaged less than a year too yeah it was fast yeah but you know and then she got into med school did she know she was doing that before yes she was pre-med okay that's another thing i liked about her Mm -hmm. like she you know she wasn't like oh you're pre-med you know right i want to marry a doctor yeah (laughs) Yeah. she was her own thing and i was right 
in med school, second year, like going, don't do this. This is horrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then she got into med school at UT Houston and OU. Okay. Her dad lived in Houston. Mm-hmm. So she told her dad that she's going to stay and go to OU. So that was her whole plan all along was to go back to, back to Houston, uh-huh. live with her dad. Or not live with her dad, but go to school down there. She tells her dad she she's met a guy. She's been on three dates with him, and now she's going to OU med school. Oh, my goodness. So he said, let me get this straight. You're choosing a med school based on a guy you've been on right. three dates with. She said, yeah. Yep. <laughs> so and it worked out. Good choice for her. Yes. <laughs> um, I met my, I think we already talked about it, Match.com. Yeah. Yep. Well, you got your characteristics right. I mean, it worked. Yeah, it worked. It worked. Yep. Um, we've already kind of touched on this mountain or beach person. I'm a beach person. Uh, I'll say both. I like both, but I'd probably lean towards mountain. Yeah. And then, okay, last one. Fancy night out or movie night in? Fancy night out. Yeah, I am probably a movie night in. Really? Yeah. I love getting dressed up and going out. And in a movie night in, there's no such thing. I'm asleep in 10 minutes once the movie <laughs> goes on. I, you know, we, okay, so maybe not a movie, but like we'll get into binge watching different TV yeah. series and stuff. So I would say I like to stay in and not just get out in the hubbub. I also yeah. don't like to wear ties. Yeah. So, I mean, it's. You'd rather just stay home. I'd rather just stay home. Yeah. Or, or go travel, but. Travel. Not getting fancy. I don't know. I love it. Our girls like it. I, do I didn't it love it pre like it. Uh, weight loss, but I love it now. We've been to Vegas a couple times, and we brought our kids yeah. just to do the sightseeing and the stuff. Mm-hmm. And they, that was the biggest shock to me is that our girls like going, and it's because they like to get dressed up. Yeah. And so uh, that's. Uh, you can get dressed up every night and, and go like, out to dinner. and that's yeah. yeah, they look forward to just putting on dresses because yep. I guess, you know. Especially kids, when else do they really get to do it other that's than true. prom or homecoming? And right. That's it. Yeah. So. All right, guys. I think that's a wrap on getting to know the people behind the Skinny Truth podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we would love it if you would subscribe on YouTube, like, follow, comment. We're on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Um, as always, just thank you for joining us and making the podcast what it is. We're having so much fun doing it, and we're really excited about the next uh, couple weeks and the content that we have coming. And we'll see you guys next time.